Hello and welcome back to our Pokemon Giratina Strikes Back playthrough. This is part 5 and this episode we're here, ready to take on our second gym challenge. We made it to this town, but we never took on the gym. Supposedly this is where things get a little bit more difficult as well. Now, I poked my head in here and assumed this was a grass type gym. So in terms of levels, because we do have a fairly good stance against grass types with a fire type and a flying type in Growlithe and Taylor, didn't level up to a crazy amount, just level 17 on both these guys, level 18 on both these guys. Should be fine, we'll see. Hey, how's it going, Champion Bound Carlos? Call me Champion Bound more, please. It inflates my ego. Dralia Town's gym leader, Moonbear. Need to get that into my head. Moonbear, okay. Is a lover of nature. He uses grass type Pokemon, should use a fire type or flying type to defeat him. Well, we thankfully have both of those types. Uh, he didn't give me a freshwater. Rude. Horrible person. Disgusting. Uh, we can put Clifford in front though, because Clifford... I would like Clifford to become nice and strong. You need to chill out, just relax, and enjoy the nature. Sounds good. Sounds good. Actually, I'm, I'm down for that. Camper Laura would like to battle. Sends out an Oddish. Level 17. So we can expect the gym leader to probably have level 20. That seems about right. Maybe he'll have a level... I think... Someone might have even said 18 to 20, although I'm not sure if that was the level they wanted me to be or the, the, what the gym leader had, I'm not sure. But we're expecting around 18 to 20, and it seems to be fitting that so far. So, Clifford, if you could just destroy this a little weed real quick, okay, that, that'd that be great. Uh, we can also pick up a Firestone while we are in this town. I didn't do it last episode, but we can pick up a Firestone while we're here so that we have that option to evolve Growth whenever we want. Probably don't want to do it straight away, but at some point, at some point. I don't know when the optimal time is, I never remember, but probably like level 30 plus minimum. There's a button, would you like to press it? Yes, I love pressing buttons. And I'm going to assume that's going to let me through here. It is. Crazy. Wow, what a crazy world we live in. Alright, let's get S1 in front so we can start getting everyone to level 18 for my OCD. I need it, except for Rattata. Rattata, you know... It came in clutch last episode, I'll admit it, but I don't want it. All the plants in here smell so beautiful, you should learn from them. I should, I should learn... Wait, wait, are you trying to say I don't smell... I, I take offense to that. Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, I'm gonna have to smack your bell sprout in its wiggly little thin neck. Okay. It sounded more violent than I intended it to. Don't sleep powder me. Okay, the violence is deserved if you're gonna use sleep powder. The violence is completely deserved. Don't do this. We do have the Silk Scarf, however, I'm pretty sure with Espeon's terrible attack stat, we would actually be hitting harder if we were still in Eevee. Just based on stat, despite having the Silk Scarf. So, that sucks a little bit, because uh, it makes me feel super weak. But as soon as we get Confusion, Psybeam, Psychic, we will be hitting much harder. I assume we're going to get Confusion first, but if we could get Psybeam first, I'd be so happy. Uh, poison powder is going to do... yeah, that's that's annoying. That's a little bit annoying. Because Pokemon do faint to poison in this game. Because this is Gen 3. Runs on Pokemon Ruby's mechanics, obviously, Pokemon Ruby hack. Uh, so, fainting to poison outside of battle. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Shroomish, you're going to get bopped real quick by Ace, because we need to make sure that everyone gets some screen time. Okay, after this we'll bring in Flaffy, and then everyone will have some screen time, and it'll be great. I like the sound of that. Uh, Shroomish get Wing Attack. Wing Attack is so strong at this point in the game. Like, look at that damage. I don't think we're going to have any trouble with this gym. So, I'm going to I'm gonna eat my words when we get absolutely right. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> sounds absolutely great. Oh, I'm going to try and guess what Pokemon he has here. Okay, it's not going to go well. I'm going to go with... I don't know if he'll have a tier 2 Pokemon. Because I could be like... I mean... I, ass I assume it's not a tier 3 Pokemon. Maybe like a Breloom? A Breloom would be a real strong Pokemon. Although it would also be so weak to Taylor that I don't think anyone would say that the gym is hard. I don't know. I don't know actually. This is harder than I thought. We've seen a lot of grass types on the way here. You could see Gloom. Could see Bellsprout, could see Skiplume, could see potentially like Bulbasaur. 
maybe even Ivysaur? Ivysaur is the ace. I could see it. Uh, try and land double team. Do we want double team? I think double team is probably worth having over focus energy, because focus energy does not guarantee us a crit. If it guaranteed a crit, then that'd be great, because it would essentially just be like a sword stance, but it doesn't guarantee it, so I don't love the idea of that. For now though, let's go ahead and swap you out with Ampharos in front. Not Ampharos. I'm gonna make that mistake so often because of the name. So often. The button was pressed. And then we'll battle this guy, go back, heal up, and then we'll see what's happening with the stream leader. Moonbear is busy meditating. I won't let you disturb his peace with your anger and aggression. I'm not angry! Okay, I did threaten to snap a bell sprout's neck, but I'm not angry! <laughs> oh, dear. Bulbasaur. Oh, we're seeing Bulbasaur hit. Okay. I don't know what Pokemon we're going to see. Also, why did I go into an electric type? That's just not a good typing. Instead, we should go right into Ace with our Guts Boosted Vinyl. Vinyl? Wing Attack. Guts Boosted Wing Attack. We don't have Vinyl. Bulbasaur has Vinyl. If we land this, it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. That's a one-shot. That's an actual one-shot. Destroyed. Taylor, calm yourself. You're just a burb, okay? That's all you are. A simple little burb. Camper Hideki goes down, I'm sorry Moonbear. Why is he called Moonbear? Like, okay, I know why, but... <sighs> I'm disappointed. <laughs> this is the most annoying part of the game, in my opinion. This stupid poison screen effect. I wonder how many people, when they first saw it, thought their Game Boy had broken. I reckon it was probably a fair few. I reckon a fair few people assumed that their Game Boy had broken. I had my doubts when I first saw it. I was a little bit concerned. But I assume... Imagine if someone just didn't realize they fought the Game Boy Pro and they never continued playing the game. That'd be so bad. Terrible design. Terrible. Either way, Moonbear. Let's go ahead. Get to this challenge. Let's put... Mm, who do we want in front? Ace has to be our reserve, so we'll put Clifford in front first. So Clifford can deal, I'm expecting two to three Pokemon. If there's more than three Pokemon, then things could get real tough. But if we're assuming two to three Pokemon, Clifford deals with the first, Ace comes in to clean up after. Okay, I like that plan. Uh, also, question of the day before we go into this, if you could have a gym in the Pokemon world, what type would you make your gym? Assuming you have to stick to a type anyway. For me, I love steel types, uh, but grass would also be a good type. I would not mind having a grass type. I wouldn't run it as a hippie convention, I'll admit. But a grass type gym wouldn't be bad. But steel types, definitely. Also, what some of the Pokemon you'd put on it? Bonus. For now though, welcome young one, I am Moonbear. Have you come to join me in my meditation? No. I'm here for a battle. Chill out man, you don't have to be so hostile. Just relax and enjoy the nature. You are a gym leader, aren't you? Good job, Mr. Battle Trainers. Kill my vibe, man. Fine, I'll battle you so I can get back to my meditation. Chill, dude. Just chill, my main man. Yo. Leader Moonbear sends out Weeping Bell. Level 20. Okay. What is the next book? I'm scared. Uh, we can Ember. Sleep Powder misses. I love seeing that. If this could burn, that'd be great. But it's so much damage. And it burned. Okay, right. Um. Uh. Okay. Uh. <laughs> I don't like using up all of my luck like that, because now I'm very afraid of the next Pokémon. Very afraid. Ember's still going to do a real good amount. That crit was so huge. Okay, we're getting hit by Sleep Powder. I don't think we have a way of getting around Sleep Powder. So I could swap, but I think I'm just going to stay in and try and burn through the turns. Unless we have a full heal. Do we have a full heal? We have a full heal, and I'm gonna use it now, because this is before we have Awakenings. And he's gonna wrap. Okay. Why? I get the Sleep Powder is annoying, right? I do. Still not gonna call this gym particularly challenging from what I've seen. It's a Weeping Bell, sure, but... I don't know! <laughs> I don't know, one more ember will do some uh, good damage though. I don't know if it'll take an owl. I hope so though. That's another sleep powder. Here we go. If it whips out synthesis, then I'm gonna understand everything. Okay? I'm gonna understand everything. They gave us a 
fire-type area before a grass-type gym. That's only just clicked in my head. That's so good. Rap. Why? Why are you like this, Weeping Bell? Stop rapping me. It's rude. Okay? Being hurt by rap, that's fine. Giga Drain! Oh, that's a bit stronger. Okay. Okay. If he used that a little bit more often, then this could have been much scarier. Ooh, are we gonna get Giga Drain as a TM after this? That's gonna be so good. About to send in Ivysaur. Okay, okay. And Ace is here to clean up. If we want to use Ace right now, that is. Should probably use Ace. If this thing whips out like Sunny Day Solar Beam. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Please don't whip out Sunny Day Solar Beam. <laughs> Wing attack. Are you gone? Are you gone? Are you out of here? I don't think you're gone. Oh, that did not do as much damage as I thought anywhere near. But. Oh, we're getting guts boosted in here. We are getting guts boosted right now. Leech Seam. If we break through, you might just be gone. Because we can just quick attack next time. Ooh, I don't know if he has any potions left. I don't think he does. I think we quick attack. Oh, okay. Fine whip. Not even Giga Drain? That did so much damage, considering that is resistant. That wasn't resisted, then that's insane. That wow. Quick attack, finish. Guts boosted, quick attack. Does the job. Level 23 Ivysaur goes down nice and easy. Okay. Not the intensity I was expecting. Whoa, wow. You're bringing way too much anger to my place of peace. Take this gym badge and leave us. Receive the grass badge from Moonbear. I don't like these badge names. Call it like the deforestation badge. No, okay. Um, the grass badge makes all Pokemon up to level 5. Like, even those you. Why do you have to say, like, even those you get in trades obey without question? I know we all use the HM move Flash outside of battle. You can have this technical machine too. We get TM19, which is Giga Drain. I think. It is, yes. Like, half the damage done to your opponent will be used to recover your own Pokemon. It's totally wicked, man. Okay. Okay. I'm glad the second gym wasn't a Steel type gym. I'll admit. I'm very glad about that. Because if I was running a gym, I'd make, like, the third or fourth gym, a steel type gym, and it would be horrible, because I'd have a Metagross and everyone would just get absolutely destroyed. I'd be such a cruel person. I wouldn't care about fairness. It'd be lovely. Just watch people cry as my Metagross just meteor mashed them into the ground. Where am I going with this? I don't know. For now though, let's go ahead, uh, put Espeon in front, so I want Espeon to get to a point where it's actually strong as quickly as possible, because I love the Pokemon. And also, I want to run back here, go to the fifth floor, and pick up a moon- not a moonstone, a firestone. Don't know why I would need a moonstone, ever. You know, not trying to get a Clefable or anything like that. Let's go ahead, grab me a firestone. 4,000 is a lot of money for a stone. Normally they're 2,100, so it's a, it's a fair price. A fair price. I guess it is pretty early as well, though, so in exchange for getting your evolution stones early, you get them at a more expensive price than in normal games. Seems like a fair trade-off. I think we checked all the houses here. And there's also the teleporting dude that I don't even want to think about. For now, though, Route 10, let's go. What rare Pokemon can we see over here? Espeon, what are you going to find for me today? What are we encountering? Ooh. Ooh, I was talking about Nidoran before, like, I, f I would say that would be a really good Pokemon in an earlier route. So I'm happy that it's there, but I don't think we want one. We want a Water-type, and maybe a... I don't know what our last type will be, but I want a Water-type. Have we been to the Safari Zone? They have many rare Pokemon. Is the Safari Zone really this early? Like, in the next town? I'd be amazed. An Azuril. I'm not feeling the love for having an Azumarill on my team at all. <laughs> That's... Just not a good Pokemon. Well, in a playthrough. Ahaha, I'll dazzle you with my wonders. Is that code for something? Because you can dazzle me with your wonders. Actually, I, I don't know what you mean. I'm very confused and afraid. What wonders is she referring to? Is she referring to her Pokemon as wonders? That's, that's the... 
normal thing, I guess? Probably. Probably. She's not giving out HM Flash. I, I don't think she's trying to do anything else. Alright, Mankey, you're gonna go down real quick. Espeon, you're gonna level up. I want confusion. Parcel Lady goes down. I wondrously lost. You managed to win only because it was a wonder. Yes, a wonder! Don't think you can win all the time. You are just wonder obsessed. Okay. It's different. You know. We also have Nina and Female. That sprite looks so unfamiliar to me. It just seems so different to me. I don't I don't remember that sprite for Nina and Female. Huh. It's like but it's head tilted to the side and it's same as butt and it doesn't want to move. Looks like it's just eating a bunch of cupcakes. I think I'd remember that sprite, to be honest. Are you battling me? You're not. How do you like the way my raven-coloured hair streams behind me? You're wearing a helmet. I grew my hair out just for that. You're wearing a helmet. I can't see any hair. What are you talking about? What are you... Are you gonna explode? I... Okay. I'm not... I'm not playing that game. I'm not playing the explosion game. That seems like a nightmare waiting to happen. You're gonna battle me. Okay. The triathlon is hard in the extreme. You have to complete the free events of swimming, cycling, and running. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Knowledge bestowed upon us. Triathlete Abigail. Also, these triathletes would normally be on the actual cycling track, but they're not. That's weird. That's weird. Is there a cycling track in this game? What if there isn't? <gasps> my whole perception of this game will be lost. Not my cycling track. I love that place. It's my favorite place. <laughs> what am I even talking about? Uh, Marie gets paralyzed because of Synchronize, you know, small victories, I guess, small victories. No one really cares about that, though. You're gonna go down. I suppose it's gonna get a tiny bit of XP. Pokemon battles are hard, too. So we did have a way up to the north, but there's also a way down to the south. And I assume we want to go south first. I don't know. Yo, you can you keep up with my speed? You're on a bike? Probably not. I'm gonna be honest, probably not. Unless... My little legs can run very, very, very quickly, and I don't know. But probably not. For now, though, I'm going to speed this up, because it's a Marie, and that's boring. We also have an Ekans, which isn't particularly exciting. So I'm just going to speed through this battle as well, because you are a boring dude. And look at that. I used speed. I guess I can keep up. Beautiful. Uh, as as a real... I always want to say Azumarill. Every time, you know? Why do you have to have such similar names? That was such a fail at moving. Wow, okay, let's not even... Let's not even mention that, that never happened, okay? That didn't happen. We do have repels! <gasps> I picked up repels, didn't I? I did, I did pick up repels. Also, we have super potions, so I'm just gonna use one of those real quick. We also have a bunch of paralyzed heals. They are there for a reason, and they are there to be used. I need to get this into my head more. We find ourselves one dire hit, which is also, like, 200 Pokeyen, so we got we found ourselves 200 Pokeyen, because I'm not gonna use it. Collector, could I see your Pokemon just one look, please? You'd normally be near the meteorite place. Okay. Collector Edwin would like to battle with his Nidoran. Level 18 Nidoran. Who will win? You decide. <laughs> this is not epic rap battles of history. Okay. Poison Sting. I'm poisoned. I'm not poisoned? The poison Sting has like an 80% chance to poison. Poisoned. Okay, great. You don't fight a Nidoran without getting poisoned, do you? It just doesn't happen. Ever. It's just not a thing that can happen. Why? I just I just want to fight a Nidoran without getting poisoned. Just once, okay? Just once. But no. Espeon is definitely going to die unless we use an Ansto, but... I don't need it alive. I'm never gonna teach it return, so I'm not particularly bothered if it faints. I'm a little bit sad, but I'm not that bothered. Espeon's gonna have a real rough time until it learns confusion. A really rough time. It would have had a rough time as an Eevee as well, but potentially less of a rough time. Especially because I kind of evolved it for the gym. So how the gym went, <laughs> it wasn't really needed. So, that kind of feels bad. Poisoned. Not poisoned. Wow. Poison Sting is slacking today. What is this? I'm disappointed in Poison Sting. I've never seen it not poisoned. Like this. It's twice in a row. That's wild. 
Alright, we have you over there. That's a dead end. Can I, like, walk past you? I can. Route 13. What are you doing? Stand back, you cannot go this way. I finally found the perfect scenery to paint, and I'm not going to move until I finish my masterpiece. Propel's effect wears off. Damn it. I've been writing about stopping my fires are like rocks. Tell me more about your fires. Tell me more. Tell me more. My fires are like steel. Yeah, I'm one after you. How do you feel? I have type advantage. Fires type advantage. That's a weird thing. Espeon's gonna faint anyway. I may as well just quick attack. I'm fine of letting it go. It's gonna die to poison. It's fine. Uh, we can just go ahead, go into Clifford, I guess. This is not a fairy. This is not gonna go for a fairy type move. This is not the matchup I thought it was. There are no fairies in this game. Oh, that's throwing me off. I've got so used to fairies. Wow. You know, there was a while in my life, like when fairy typing first became announced, that I really thought I was never gonna get used to it. I was just gonna always look at the new fairy types and see them as their old types. I'm having the opposite effect right now. This is crazy. Pidgey Oto. Okay, we're evolving now. All right. We haven't seen any Pidgeys on the new routes. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'm a fan of that. Pidgey Oto, though, you're gonna get punch shot. Real quick. Real nice. You're gonna get static because you're a fool and you got yourself all wrapped up in my lovely wool. You just couldn't help yourself. You saw my Flaffy called Amphi and you were like, it's beautiful. You just rubbed your wings against it and now you're just, you're paralyzed from, from, from all over your body and it's, it's just a problem. It's just a problem. You're just covered in electricity, you know? It feels bad. Doduo, are you gonna do the same thing? Are you gonna do the same thing? Are you gonna give in to my beautiful woolly body? Yeah. There we go, he gave in to the beautiful woolly body. If he lands all five, oh, okay. He was doing seven of each hit. If he landed all five, he'd have knocked me out by one HP over. It would've been interesting. Tackle should finish though. Okay, he went for peck. Okay, right, we're not risking that again. I need to stop doing that. Button shock can't miss. Stop clicking tackle. Simple. Absolutely simple. Amphros, you did good. And not Amphros, Flaffy. Oh, this is hard. Okay, right. <laughs> Why did I call it Amphi? Also, we're battling someone called Jasmine, like Jim Leader Jasmine. Crazy coincidences are happening here today. Wow. What a what a wonderful world we live in. What wild Pokemon are we seeing? Azrael. Boring. Get out. Get out. How many trainers? Wait, you didn't battle me. What do you have to say? Learning techniques will make bike riding even more fun. Why is there so many? Why is there so many cyclists here? What is this? Am I gonna be able to walk past you without this being a horrible, horrible mistake? Probably not. Unless we go like super fast south. I'm not. I'm not playing the self-destruct game. Alright. I'm just trying to run past these trainers. That didn't work. I found some cool Pokemon in the grass around here. Okay. Okay. They're real cool. I like them. Flappy? Scary. Don't. Bad. Scary Pokemon, get out. Trying to Otis Sloop, that move is terrible. Pineco, don't you explode. Tackle. It didn't explode. Okay. Right. I want to get to the next town. You're not going to battle me. There are so many bike rides around here, but it just seems like an awful train. Thank you! Someone else gets it. That's exactly what I was thinking. How many trainers is there? What is this? Stop! <laughs> ah, ha, ha, ha. I would go anywhere to show off my delightful Pokemon. Snubble with Intimidate. Okay, gross. Wing attack. Crit bopped. Oh my lord. Tangler. Crits are a crazy thing. Tangler would have been a fun Pokemon for the gym leader to have as well. Tangler would have been a very fun Pokemon. It's got a huge amount of physical defense. That'd be a really good Pokemon. Give it like Power Gem. Okay, now, okay, whoa, whoa there, whoa there, brain, whoa there. Second gem. So make it that OP. Okay, stop, stop. It's a Tangle. Chill. Although, if there was a Tangle with Power Gem in the gym, no one would be kicked through it early, I'll say that. Oh dear, this won't do. 
Wait, wasn't she talking about adorable Pokemon if she had a Tangler? Everyone has their thing, I guess. We've made it to what did the... Did you say Activision C? Avington C, okay, wow. Uh, Gamer brain alert, help. <laughs> Activision C. Um, <laughs> Alright, let's heal everyone up. We do have a bunch of trainers I can go and fight back there, but I almost want to do all of that off screen because it's just going to be boring grinding against pretty boring Pokemon. Like, I'm, I'm never feeling the threat of losing any of my Pokemon because it's not an Azlock. The beach town where people and Pokemon cross paths. My Pokemon has a hasty nature. Has a high speed compared to my other Pokemon. Maybe their nature has something to do with stat gains? Yes, it does. The Pokemon you substitute with a doll came to life. It really creeps me out, but I want it to be happy. Here, you take it. What? 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 I'm... I'm... Is this a... Is this a fake one? I don't want to. I don't want to rename it. I want it to be a substitute. I don't want to rename it. I'm not doing it. I'm not renaming it. Is it genuinely just a substitute? That's so great. It has incredible defensive stats. Has tail whip, bide, reflect, and light screen. Okay. Now, I have no idea. If there is a website or something that tells me about all of the Giratina Strikes Back Fakemon. But, well first of all we get a revive. If there is and there's a way to evolve it, I would love to evolve it. So if someone could let me know, that would be great. Because I don't think there's a website for it, but I could be very, very wrong. The Endless Sea sustains all life. Oceanic Museum. Even Kyoga. Especially Kyoga. Hmm, a good rod is, a re is really good. It's a really good rod. It's very rod-like and sturdy. Yes, very rod-like. Very Made of a very, very fine twig. Wouldn't you agree? Absolutely. Hmm, we're of identical lines. I agree. Very rod-like. Very nice. Lovely shape. Hmm, take this good rod. Wow. Great. We could try and get ourselves a water type. I don't know what a fun water type would be. This guy from the back, <laughs> I thought it was Bowser for some reason. What am I doing today? Oh dear. All right, let's see what everyone else is saying. Who are you? You're the name reader. <gasps> yes. 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 Yes, 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 yes. All right. Is naming Pokemon gonna work this time? Let's find out. Because I, I, I am certain I named it. Done. From now on, this Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Did it work? It did. Okay, that's so much better. Also, I might rename substitute to substitute in lowercase just to be more visually aesthetic, but whatever. The sea is a wonderful place, don't you agree? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep, this is a blueprint, alright. Yeah, that's pretty much what he said anyway, to be honest. You know, he hasn't changed. Okay. Uh, there's also a gym here. Okay, we haven't really leveled up that much from the last gym. That's a little bit worrying. Ahem, I am the chairman of the Pokemon Fan Club. Being the chairman, I am naturally the most important. That's not the right thing to say. No one could best me when it comes to raising Pokemon. No one. In any contest, my victory is a foregone conclusion. But that would deprive others of their enjoyment. So, I now while away my time examining the Pokemon of others. It is marvellous to witness how others have raised Pokémon, the contented faces of properly raised Pokémon, the kind and loving gazes of their trainers. My heart is overwhelmed. There is so much happiness. Oh my, excuse me, I seem to have nattered on for far too long. Please, do allow me to examine your Pokémon and see how it's grown. Yeah, it stinks. Yeah, I let them die. You know, I don't really care. Whatever. I love seeing Pokémon that love their trainers. Yeah, 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 I don't know. I might have let them die to poison a fair few times. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? You give me a super? I don't think I have a use for that, though, do I? I don't know if I have a use for that with anyone. If you keep letting a Pokemon faint in battle, come to resent it, soon it'll be less trusting, and then frustration will become super powerful and you'll have a strong Pokemon. Capital logic. Wow, it's plain to see that you lavish your love on Taylor. Okay, it's named Ace. Can I ask you a favor? I'm a TV reporter. 
Would you be willing to answer a few questions? I love this. Yes. 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 How did you feel? How did I feel when I met Taylo? Um... Let's see. Feelings. How did I feel? <laughs> All right. Accurate. <laughs> Very accurate. Um... I feel cares. <laughs> that's... That's a good one. Sometimes I'm just like, wow, I feel cares today. Okay. I feel disappoint. Perfect. I feel disappoint. That's... That's my phrase. The next question might be a little on the tough side. Here goes. What do Pokemon mean to you? Hold on, no, I asked question of the day, okay? I asked, what type would your gym be? Okay, what is this? I don't want multiple questions in this interview. What are Pokemon to you? Hobbies. Pokemon are anime to me? Surprisingly accurate, is there games here? Game! Wow, perfect. I'm taking this way too literally. <laughs> I see. Mm hmm. Okay, thanks for helping me out. It was fun and enlightening chatting with you. Okay, yeah, I'm not- I'm never gonna check that out on TV. I answered that way too accurately. <laughs> Alright, let's see what's happening here. Our gym leader isn't here at the moment. I think he's helping out at the warehouse. Okay. Oh, I can't- It would be impossible for any mere mortal to move this jar. <sighs> I understand. I understand. Sometimes you look at a jar and you're like, wow, that's a big jar, I don't know. Do you know what they do with old ships that become too creaky to sail? They sink them into the sea so they can become habitats for Pokemon. Delmize must love that. Where the water is clean, the fruits of bountiful harvest gather. And when people gather, a market soon starts. That's how Twilight Town is born and grows. Wow, okay. Friends wanted to be funny to bury me in the sand. I've been here for hours. Can you help me out? No. Us all the time is coming in. <laughs> okay, okay, fine. You might give me goodies. Oh, thank you so much. Again, thank you for digging me out there. I can't tell you how grateful I am. Oh, I know, you can have this. Oh, that's not a bad thing to have at all. I'm gonna put that on Espion, actually. Now to get back to my friends. Are they really your friends if they just left you there? Should you really be calling them your friends? You need better friends, man. You need better friends. Right. I don't know. I was going to help dig that girl out of the sand, but I got a cramp on my side. <laughs> Why are you so... So accurate. <laughs> That's what so many people would be like. Oh, you're Taylor. You have to go for it a little harder. If you do, I'll give your Pokemon something nice. No, you won't. No, you won't. Don't, don't you lie to me. You won't give him anything nice. Alright. But, next episode, we will go ahead and check out the warehouse and the museum, and I will go back and battle all of the trainers on that previous route and hopefully get those out of the way. If there's anything interesting, then. Hey, fun stories to tell next episode. So if you guys have enjoyed this episode, leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, and without further ado, bye!